Hi friends, it's Tiffany from StuffParentsNeed.com and ThreadUp, um, a box just arrived from ThreadUp of some purchases that I made and I ripped it open and was just about to start pulling out things when I thought, ah, let's go shopping together. Why don't we look together to see what I got? To be completely honest with you, I don't remember what I purchased. I'm moving junk around in my house to make room to set down this box. Um, because I'm just running behind in life, generally speaking. So sorry for all the mess. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure I bought springy type things, or I may have just been, I may have found a few things that I just thought were cute, even if they weren't seasonally appropriate, and I decided to go for it. Let me tell you why ThreadUp is so smart. I shop from them a lot, and this is one of the reasons. Okay, one, you have to order, it's either $75 or $79. I can't remember which, but it's on their website to get free shipping. I'm not gonna not get free shipping. So I always get my order up to 75 or nine, whatever dollars, before I place the order. The other thing is that if something doesn't work out, and come on, it's closed, something's gonna not work out. If it doesn't work out and you return it for store credit, you don't have to pay anything to ship it back. I have shipped back clothes to thread up on my dime. There was one time where the bill was like 13 bucks. It was just stupid. It just really offended my soul. So um, sometimes if you're going to do it that way, depending on what you paid for outfits, it's like it's not even worth it to ship it back. So I, again, I always take store credit. And because of that, I always have credit at the store, which is like having you know, money burning a hole in my pocket. So I probably place an order with them once a month. And that is why. All right, let's dig in. See what I got. Okay. This is from American City Wear. Oh, this is a short sleeve sweater. I've been totally, and it's got a little bit of a frilly bottom. That's really cute. I've totally been wanting short sleeve because it gets hot where I live, and it's hot for like four months of the year. I mean, hot, hot for four months of the year. Um, so my days are numbered as to when I can even wear this, even though it's, um, you know, a lot of air can get through. So I need more of these. Just on spec, I like it. Of course, I'll have to try it on. And I'm not sure, here's my invoice. I don't think my invoice tells me what I paid for it, sorry. Uh, it doesn't. I really wish they would do that. I wish they would put on this invoice what you paid for it. But I will. Okay, this is a pale gray tank. I mean, totally, totally simple. I'm just short on tanks. So, very basic kind of purchase. This is from Avaline, or Avalon, and it still has the tag on it. Ding, ding. Retail, 74 bucks. Looks like someone paid 29 but you know it wasn't me. I didn't pay 29 for this. I don't recall what I paid. Um, okay, so it's kind of um, a little bit poncho-esque. It's very sheer. Super cute. This could dress up really easily. Um, I'm not sure, because it's black, and to me this is kind of wintry. This is probably going to be something I'm going to enjoy a lot more in the fall, but really cute. Okay, so that's three items so far. Item number four, we have another short sleeve sweater. Um, I wish the color was a little more, little more bold. It's just that it's like a cross between beige and dusty rose. It's like in between the two, but I love the detail. I love things that look a little bit lacy. That's pretty. So I'm hoping if I wear that with a more bold, that like that kind of nudish sort of color, it's not the most flattering on me because I'm already so pale. But maybe if I wore it with a more bold color, it would look good. Speaking of bold colors, okay, we've got a tunic, and just at the side of it, it looks really big. I may be humbled. After I try it on, it's a size large, it's Izod brand, and maybe it'll be just perfect for the beach. I'm tentatively scheduled to go to 
Mexico later this summer, although the long sleeves may put it out of the running. Um, but I love to get to wear leggings. It's definitely long enough for that. We're just going to have to see if it's too big. The color's gorgeous. Okay, it looks like I've just got, no, I've got two more things. Here's another berry sort of color. Madison is the brand. So this is not going to be for summer, but it's completely sheer. Obviously, hello, need a tank under it, but it's really pretty. Again, I'm going to have to see if it's too big or not. Sorry for the fire engines going by. My house isn't on fire, so we're good. Okay, and one more thing. Hmm. Oh, it's from Fresh Produce. I know this brand. This is just a shift dress. It's all cotton, so it feels really comfortable. Can you see that pattern, guys? It's a really pretty pattern. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm not exactly sure what motivated me. Probably because I like this brand, and I know them to be really quality and, like, really comfortable clothes. But, like, this is just... These are not colors that I normally wear, and it's the whole dress looking like this. So, I fear this might just be super boring on me and have to go back. But, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know I had like 60 bucks in credit from like a couple different returns that I'd done. And I spent that, and then I don't think I went too far past... 75, 79, so, you know, that might be 80 bucks worth of clothes. There's some really pretty things, and there's some good name brands. I'll try them all on, and as you know, return what I don't like. So, what'd you think? What was your favorite of what I picked out this time around? Let me know in the comments.